We are going to be learning a lot today. So let's get right into it. Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. Thank you for staying with me. I know it's been a long break, but we are in the process like to make things smoother and better. So in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to crochet a phone pause back. So I'll be doing a phone pause back for my phone. My phone is about 150 centimeter in height. I mean 150 mm, that's 15 centimeter in height. And about 9 cent centimeter in width. I'm using it to record so I cannot show the phone. Now. So I want to crochet it just a small bag in case I want to just quickly go out and I need to pick something. And I just need a small bag for my phone. So this tutorial is perfect for it. So without further ado, my former video is more or less like introduction video. So we just get right into it. What we'll be needing for this tutorial, we need a tape measure, six scissors, any type of yarn you want to use for it. Right here, I'm using t-shirt yarn. So you can use any type of yarn available at your local store. Then we'll be needing the yarn and chain, press stud, and a D ring so let's get into it so this is a t-shirt yarn and i'll be using the 6 mm 6 mm equal so in our former tutorial we we're taught how to we we're taught how to start your stitch and do a chain stitch so today we'll be moving further from there and then we'll be moving further from there on how to make sure your crocheting is straight like the edges are straight and how to join edges together yes i forgot we are going to be making use of stitch pin to stitch our sides together when we get to that stage i'm going to add this for us to see so here is our yarn then it are not don't forget as a beginner always roll up please the tower knot then we start so i'm going to be chaining 10 then i will measure it to see if it's suitable for my phone width that's the width of my phone one two yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over Pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Then like that. Then I have my ten here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to be measuring this. This is exact nine. So this is the exact size of my phone. But we need to make extra allowance you might want to add other things into the back so you need to make extra allowance by this side so we can just chain like five more for the extra allowance for the back so let's go one two three four five so this is good to go we are good to go then we are going to be turning back on our next row now so to turn back each time you are turning will be chaining if you are going with single crochet like i'll be using for this bag you will chain one if it's double crochet i'm supposed to even leave a lesson on different type of stitch crochet different type of this thing but i will leave it after this tutorial so if it's a double cr uh, crochet you are going to chain two if it's triple you are going to train three like that like that so because we are making use of single crochet now you are going to chain one as our turning stitch so don't forget anytime you are starting a new row don't forget your turning stitch so we chain one so this is our turning stitch now we are going to skip it and move to the next chain this chain we are going to move to the next chain so you turn it i want you to see what i'm doing very well you turn this chain you see how would I describe this? See all these things. 
that's what we'll be working with this uh, this one going as if it's going inside and coming outside going inside and coming out that's what we'll be working with for our first row so we're going to skip this first one then go through the second one so this is the old we'll be working with you see our chain then you turn it to the back and we'll be working with this oh yeah the one at the back that looks like it's going in and coming out that's what we'll be working with so let's get right into it we are skipping the first one don't forget that was our turning chain so we'll go right into it yarn over pull through you have two chain on your hook then you pull through the two chain that's our first single crochet this is what we call single crochet so i'm going to do, be doing the next five with you so please stay tuned stay clear to me insert your hook yarn over pull through then pull through the two chain insert your hook yarn over pull through the two chain insert your hook yarn over pull through pull through the two chain insert your hook yarn over pull through the hook pull through the two chain then we continue like that and i will meet you at the end of the row so now we are at the end of the row so there's nothing special you just insert your hook at that at that end insert your hook yarn over bring it out and chain so when you get here in order for you to hide this disaster here yeah, don't even call it a disaster but this extra chain here yeah, remove your hook look at it very well insert your hook into this first one into this first chain coming down into this one see into this last single crochet we did the last one enter inside then you yarn over it and pull through this two i'm going to be doing that again this is our last chain stitch up here see this last one you insert it at the front loop then this last single crochet that we did insert it at the other hook then yarn over and pull through so you see now you are then we are going to start our second row so to start the second row don't forget the turning stitch we always tell you about you will chain one since we are working with single crochet then you turn then this is the trick of getting straight edge please watch very well to get straight your straight edge yeah we have our holes you see them where we'll be inserting our hook to continue the next row so here we have one this is the first one the chaining and uh, turning stitch that we did the first one this is the second one so we always work on the third oh note we don't work on the first one we don't work on the second one we work on the third space see the first second the third space that's what we'll be working on so please note that so that you have your edge straight edge please always take notes so now we skip the first we skip, skip the second and enter to the third and make sure this is on your chain stitch so as to hide this and uh, this yarn then we continue our single crochet like that into the space you continue our single crochet please make sure you hide that yarn so it's not what you are trying to hide from beginning we now end up coming out at the end of the day so we continue our single crochet into those spaces and just leave it like that and cut the tip later on so let's continue then meet you at the end of the row so this next row is where the trick of how we start our straight edge we start from so we've done two rows now and this is how it looks like 
So the third row now will chain one our turning stitch. Then don't forget you are skipping the stress, skip the second, you are walking into the third space. Please always keep that in mind. Please, so you have a straight edge. Always work on the third space, don't work on the second space. Please, if you don't understand it, you can rewind this back to see the space I'm talking about. Please, for you to have straight edge. Yes, and we are at the end of the row. So, when we get here, there's always this wicked stitch. If you are a beginner, you will be tempted to skip it and change, then start all over. This is where the trick is. Please, this wicked stitch here, always remember to put your single crochet. This stitch here, this wicked stitch. Please, remember to always put your single crochet for you to have a straight edge. The essence of this tutorial is to teach you how to crochet having straight edge. So if you miss it from here, you miss the whole essence of this tutorial, please don't forget. The first one is working in the third space, which I'm going to show again now, before I leave you to continue. Then the second one is working in this last wicked space, this last chain. Please take note. So we are going to finish up our third row like that. It might not make sense to you now, but by the time you continue, you start seeing the effect. Then you chain one, turn. This is the last time I'll be talking about this. This is the first row here, our turning chain. This is the second one. So we'll be working on this third chain. So please and please take notes. This is the first one, our turning chain. This is the second one. Then we'll be working on this third one. So let me do this fourth row with you. Then I will tell you the next step to do. Let's go. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm supposed to even put a nice music. Hopefully when I'm editing this, I'll put a music at the background for us to be enjoying music. I don't know. I love listening to music or preaching while coaching just helps me you know meditate <laughs> so yes we are at the end of the road <laughs> so we are this last change this week I see it's not easy for you to continue on your next row skipping this stage because especially if you are working with tiny yarn it's very easy for you to skip it but please put it at the back of your mind Please always work on this last stitch to get your straight edge. So this is our fourth row. So the next step, this is how we'll continue. We'll continue this row until we get our desired length. So for me to get my desired length for my phone now, I say my phone is 15 centimeter in height. So what we are going to be doing is, after getting our length, we are going to be folding up to be able to form the pores. When we continue, we'll be able to understand. So now my phone is 15 centimeters. I want to leave space, maybe allowance of maybe five centimeters, so to ensure proper, so that my phone can enter properly and I can also add other things. So let's say I'll be going for 20 cm length for the pulse, 20 cm. So the phone, the our pulse at the end of the day, let me just give a picture and representation of our pulse in the So this is 20 cm. Then it's going to be something like this with a small flap at the end. So our 20 cm. So the total, our total, we want to get our total length. And our total length is going to be 20 plus 20 plus our flap. That's 40. Our flap, we can just make our flap maybe 10 cm. As you wish. You can make it any cm you want, but I'm going to, for the essence of this tutorial, I'm going to be making it 10 cm. So it will be like halfway of the post. So my, the total length, I'm going to be crocheting now. I'll continue with this my row. I will continue up, up, up until I reach my desired length of 50 cm. So when we reach, when I'm done with this 50 cm, I will meet you at the end of the 50 cm row. So let's get right into it. Happy crocheting! 
so yes, we are done with the bag. We are just did for the phone box alone because we have to add our day ring to the bag before we continue with the flap. So let's get right into it. You see what we have done so far. You see the edge. You see how straight it is. So if you have followed all that I've said earlier on, we get the straight edge. So if you are not getting the straight edge, that means you have either missed the last chain or you start your other row in the second space, not the third one. So you can please lose it back so that you have a perfect bag. Lose it back. Find what your mistake and continue. Mistakes are allowed, yes. But we don't but we don't fall with our mistake. We build on it and we try to be better. So now we are going to be adding our daring. So we chain one, skip one, two, go into the third one. This is my right side. This is, the, this is my wrong side. This is my right side. So now we are going to be starting our daring. So you put your hook inside the chain. You will yarn over and pull through. So when you have this thing, you introduce your daring. Then you put it at the back here. So when you want to yarn over, you go into this ring. You go into this ring. Yarn over and pull through this two. Through the ring. Please don't forget. Through this ring. I'm going to do it again for us to close this one. So you will go through this ring. Yarn over normally. Like the normal. As if you want to create shape. So it's when you want to do the second yarn over to close up this single crochet. That's when you insert this your hook inside the D-ring. Then you yarn over, pull through the D-ring, then pull through the other two. Then we have successfully added our thing. I should have even added it at the start here so that it will be at the edge to ensure the bag is not flopping off. But all well and good, you can continue. You can adjust that doing your own when you are doing your own. Then you continue without inserting your hook inside the D-ring again. So we have successfully fixed our first D-ring. So we going ahead to fix the second one now. Yes. So let me chain towards the end. So when you are at the third single crochet towards the end, you know, at the third this is one two three okay the fourth space towards the end because we are going to be doing our double crochet here our double and two dot and single crochet for the day we are going to be putting it here then before we continue so you insert inside the space yarn over pull through introduce your d ring insert it through the d ring row yarn over put through the d-ring then put through the two loop insert your chain yarn over put through insert through the d-ring yarn over put through the d-ring yarn over put through the d-ring then put through the two loops you see that then you continue your work a single crochet down the loop so I hope you got that so you continue so now we are going to crochet the flap that's what we are going to do now so just continue crocheting so we have 10 cm left for us to crochet for this flap let's go there then I will meet you at the end of my flap see you yeah so if you want to join your t-shirt and is finished and you want to join another one so make sure there is another one that is long enough it's long enough then you give it then you introduce the other one so you insert your hook inside the hole first of all then instead of yarn over through the previous yarn then you yarn over the new yarn leaving a large amount of space to there so you hold it down yarn over the new yarn and pull through then yarn over the new yarn pull through so now you have this then you bring this on top and make sure you are going to hide it before you continue your project then you continue with the new yarn
and continue with the new yarn so that's how to add the new yarn so you can cut this one up later or maybe hide it but it's better to hide it because this is short so to avoid it losing up and anything so you can just hide it in between all this is thing using your uh, using your crochet thing so yes i have my my body my post body done and it's to my desired point length you can see that fifty. so now what you are going to do this is the right side so this is the end of my row then i'm going to chain one and cut you want to see in your one on and cut please make sure you leave desired length at the edge and you tie it then maybe i should just teach you how to add how to add your yarn now to add your yarn i just Let me throw this yarn. Be careful. I would actually advise to get a plastic one. It's more easier than this. It is a plastic one until I don't even know where I get my plastic yeah, crochet thing. See that. You continue putting it through to the yarn. Then just continue putting it through until you know that yes, it's firm enough. Then you cut it and drag to hide it. You see now, so we are successfully. Can cut this off. Please don't cut yours off like mine. Please ensure that you have your own to a desired length before you cut it off. So yes. So now this is what we are going to achieve at the end of the day. This should be up for your hook. This was going to achieve. So we are going to be sewing the sides now to close our pores. Before we had our letter hook, so this is the upper side. This is where we insert our hook. So our sewing will start from here. Yes, I'm done with the first side. So I'll be, don't panic, relax. I'll be doing the second side with you, so we can just finish the whole bag. Will this be enough? Hopefully, this will be enough. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to manage my yarn, and that's what you do as a crocheter. If you want to do something for yourself, manage, you can manage yarn, but if it's for a customer, please be elaborate. It's what they are paying for. <laughs> so, yes, let's get started. This ensure is aligned with this. If it's not aligned, you have a shapeless bag. Ensure it's aligned. Insert your hook inside the space. Bring it out. Leaving a place of yarns behind but bring it out so i don't miss it along the way then you attach it to the other side then look for the first space you are going to you are going to stitch the back and the front together so look for the first space where we are starting from we said we are starting from this row below this d ring so that we can carry the back from here so this is the space this is the first space this is the first row along the D ring. Then you bring it out from that same space it started from initially. Then you tie strong. So that's why you continue. You pass, you go to the next row. This is the first row. You so the second, you go to the second row. Bring this out so you don't miss it at the end of the day. 
then insert it through the second row this second row to insert it through the second row and bring it out then the third row the third row this is space third row then this third row also and bring it out fourth row fourth row please make sure the rows are consistent the fifth row the sixth row the seventh row we reach the end then and i'm going to add i'm going to hide this yarn now the yarn is short already but please when you are doing your own ensure you don't manage yarn like me so i'm just going to look for a way to hide this somewhere yeah so i've successfully hidden <laughs> my yarn but please when you are doing your be generous with your yarn, please don't be like me. Actually, I did this for your customer. I will have loosened it up and start all over again because I give my customers premium quality. So now, you see this lovely bag. Isn't this lovely? See this bag. Anywhere you carry this one, eh? You will be distinguished. Like people will be like, where did they get bag from? Because it's not it's not common anywhere. And you will be like, yes, I made this myself, and you will be so happy with yourself, yes. So that's the goal. So now, we are going to be adding our metal stop. We we'll add this one first, the one at this up first, so that we'll be able to know where to put this for that one. So if you don't have this at home, and you want to quickly make something like this, you can make use of buttons. You can make use of anything. I even forgot to teach you how to add how to do space for cotton ball. Hopefully, in my next tutorial, in a short tutorial, I will show you how to leave space in between your in between your rows. So if you want to add buttons or something. So for now, we'll be making use of this to prevent this pulling up. Then bring your yarn, put it here, then close it up on this yarn. Then bring it here. Bring it out. Don't worry about the show it's not show. We had a design there to close it up. <laughs> so yes. This is what you have then tight. Definitely to show. And to not even show the profession about it. You can tie it up here and hide your yarn inside. I thought I had to hide the just hide the remaining leaf nets. Yes. But if you don't want to go through this phase, you can always do pumpkin. How to do pumpkins will not be in this video, it will be in another video. How to do tessels. <laughs> tessels, I'm, I'm sorry, say pumpkin. How to do tessels will be in another video. So just for this tutorial, we are going to be hiding mm, Sorry, it's fine now and it's not easily noticeable Maybe wrong thing. Yeah. Then you flip over this one to know where to put it on under. After gauging it, you open it up. Then pin it down. 
this is going to be here so this one is long enough so there is no need for me using that metal that i use for the upper part i can really pin this down here That side down, that is not right. But it's available to use this method. Any method is fine. So pull it up so we can add our chain and to the bag. And yes, we are good to go. Isn't this lovely? Isn't this lovely? So let me know if you tr if you try this out. You can take a picture and tag me on any of my social media platforms. They are all at Yemi Nojuis. Thank you for staying tuned to the end. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Toodles!